What's going on guys? Apologize for my voice. I am a little under the weather today. Um, but I just I couldn't miss this one. Uh, so we got two packages to unbox today. I'm sure one of you can see here in the uh, frame. We got our Marvel Collector Core Box. And of course our Loot Crate. So I think we'll start with the Loot Crate. Right off the bat, we have a wearable. I'm not even sure the theme of this month. <laughs> I gotta start looking this stuff up beforehand. Uh, Quest. So, real quick, I can show you the pin. It's uh, kind of like a shield, like a Zelda shield. With, and of course, the camera probably isn't gonna focus. It's got a 20 side uh, dice in there. And we have a shirt. Looks like a labyrinth shirt, I believe. Awesome stuff. So then we have a really cool little bag. What is this? Whoa, okay. <laughs> what the hell? So this is the Loot Crate exclusive Chronicle. Oh, it's from Vikings. Uh, the TV show. It's a 1-2 scale. It's really hard to read. Uh, Flocky Drink Mug? So, I'm supposed to drink out of this, I assume? not very much room in there for any kind of liquid. But it also comes with a strap, I assume, to wear it on, like, your belt? Just sit in there like that. Maybe you wear it around your neck. I don't know. I've never seen the TV show. <laughs> uh, so then we have some Harry Potter socks. Which I think this is the first... Nope, not true. Those socks came in that Marvel crate. I was going to say the Guardians of the Galaxy socks. Uh, actually, maybe those did come in the loot crate. I can't remember. Anyway. That's what they look like. And they are too small for me. So we have a poster tube here. Oh nice! Uncharted 4. That's really cool. It says, I am a man of fortune and must seek my fortune. Uncharted 4. Thieves in. That is definitely something I will put up on my wall with my other mini posters. And then we have a Loot Crate exclusive 20 side dice ice mold. You just fill it up with water or you know, whatever you're your choices. Uh, make sure you close it up all the way. So there's a hole up here, fill it up with water or whatever and freeze it. There you go. 20 side dice. Ice. Nice. It says you're only supposed to fill it 90% full. But... And then we have the magazine. Quest, like I said. Uh, that is actually what you do with that horn. Is it's to drink out of and you wear it around your neck. A picture of a guy right, right there. The 
Harry Potter socks. Uh, the exclusive Labyrinth t-shirt, the D20 ice mold, the poster, and I think that was it for this month. Oh yeah, the inside of the box. Uh, that's what it looks like. And then you unfold it all, turn it inside out, and fold it back up, and that's what you get. Awesome. Kind of a lackluster month, I'm not going to lie. I don't hate it, I just... There's been other crates that I enjoy a lot more. A glass bar. Glass bar is really good. So, let's go ahead and break open this bad boy. This is the Captain America Civil War uh, Marvel Collector Core theme box. Stupid amounts of excited for this movie. And my pen fell out of the bag. Cool. Oh, nice. It's a Black Panther pen. That's sick. I know the camera's not going to pick up on that. Stop focusing on my finger. Can you see it? And then we have a crossbones patch. Let's say the box shows the heroes. Yeah, Falcon, uh, Black Widow, Ant-Man, Vision, no, wait, and this one's Scarlet Witch, I don't know, hard to tell in the drawing, because this one's Black Widow, and then uh, Black Panther, War Machine, of course Iron Man and Captain America in the middle. Oh, awesome. Get a little lanyard. This would be awesome to wear at the conventions. Although I wish it was the the um, the other kind of clamp instead of this one. I could probably switch it out with one of the ones I got from WonderCon. But it just has little Funko pictures. Uh, pop, Funko Pop vinyl pictures of Cap and Iron Man. So we've got awesome t-shirt, double t-shirt day, as my phone starts going off, so what do we have, we have Captain America Civil War, who's side are you on, and then it's Funko Pops of the team. Teams, since there's more than one team. Oh my god. I looked inside. I looked inside. The Black Panther Collector Core uh, number one variant cover. That's pretty sick. However, I like the Jay Z variant cover the best. So, before I pull out, the most badass thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's pull out this Dorbs because this is badass also. And of course it's an adorable little Iron Man. Uh, unmasked. Alright, this is... I don't know if you guys can see my pop collection up there. It's not huge. But it's, it's pretty big. Um, I have a lot more than a lot of people. This is officially my new favorite one. Dude, that, that's insane. I went from having no 
pop vinyls of Cap or Iron Man to have it an exclusive two pack. I guarantee you will see this at Comic Con going for like 60 bucks. But I'm not selling. Because this is badass. That is sick, man. So inside the box, it's empty now. You can see the rest of the heroes and stuff. Um, real quick, I wanted to look at this. This is weird. I've never seen this before. Uh, they've already announced the uh, the June box, which is the Women of Power. It's got a uh, Spider Gwen right there on the top of the box. Thanks for an amazing first year. Don't miss out on year two. It's even bigger. So, so far, we've had uh, somebody point out to me I did miss uh, two boxes from them. Um, actually, I missed three. Three boxes. Damn. So the first one was the Avengers Age of Ultron one, which came with the exclusive Hulkbuster pop that you always see at conventions for like 80 bucks. Um, then you had the Ant-Man one, and then the Secret Wars box. And then I started getting it with the Villains box. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy, and then Deadpool, and now Civil War. Then the back of this card, I guess I can show you the card by the way, that's the front, that's the back. The back has like little facts about the box and what it was going to have, like over here by the pop, uh, the cap and the Iron Man pop, it says the box is originally going to contain a Falcon Captain America pop as well as introduce a new line from Funko. Plans change at last minute to include a pop two pack. In order to meet production deadlines, uh, Funko skipped the concept stage and went straight to the sculpting stage. Uh, the amazing Marvel brand team approved this in only 24 hours. Huh. <laughs> By the lanyard, it said we wanted to launch the second year of Marvel Collector Core by providing you a home for all your pins. And that's exactly what I use these for. I mean, I can show you real quick uh, my lanyard from WonderCon. got most of my pins from uh, all the various boxes, loot crates and collector cores. And then I was bored one night a while back, like last year sometime, and I took an old silver necklace I had and just started putting all of my old loot crate pins on there. But I'm going to take those off and put them on one of these lanyards because if a uh, loot crate is at these conventions and you go up to them and show them your pins they give you something for free I don't know what it was um, they were doing it the day that I didn't have all my pins with me at WonderCon alright so that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for unboxing these with me. And uh, stay tuned for more.